Hi there, my name's Faradina Afifi. I'm an instructor with Grey Heron Internal Arts in Cambridge and uh, we're going to be doing some seated Tai Chi fitness. I teach seated Tai Chi fitness for Power to Inspire. Um, there's a new class starting on a Friday afternoon at 1.30 on Zoom and this is what uh, this is the sort of stuff we'll be doing in that class. I hope you enjoy it. So what we'll do first, we'll just start with our posture. So you want to feel the ground under your feet. Just move back a little bit. You want to feel the ground under your feet. You want to feel the sitting bones on your chair. You want to sink the sitting bones down and lengthen through the spine. And just take a few slow, deep breaths. So feel your head float up, feel your sitting bones sink down, relax the shoulders and just let the arms hang by the side. So notice the feeling of your arms and then what we do, we just very gently turn the waist. So I'm just allowing my hand to gently hold on to the stool that I'm sitting on. So that's the stool that's creaking, that's not my back. And we're just turning. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little warm up. And just get, get our joints a bit mobilised. And then we're going to do some punches and some kicks. Which is very cool. Okay, shake your hands out. And we'll just do this one. So just swing forwards and back. So let me just uh, show you that from the side. So I'm like this. So turn the waist, turn the waist. And I'm pushing down with my feet. Notice the angle of my legs, about 90 degrees there. And also you want the chair either at or slightly higher than what your, your knees are at. Like you're playing the piano, you know. Except we're not, we're going to be punching. But... Sorry. And I'm, I'm turning. Have a look from the back. And breathing. Okay, so check your posture. Relax around the jaw. Softly gaze forward with your eyes and listen behind and above. So you've got this panoramic awareness of your environment, but you're also aware of the feeling of your chair against the body, of your clothes against your skin, so you want to be very present and a good sense of connection to the ground. Good sense of connection to the ground. We're nice and relaxed. We're breathing. Just take a few slow deep breaths. So if you can get your hand here and if you can get your other hand around the lower back just so you can feel that you're breathing into your hand. So we'll just breathe in a bit. And then try that the other side, just so you want to cultivate natural breathing. Nice and relaxed. Okay, so we're just going to warm up some joints. So we'll just start with the shoulders. One, I'll show you that from the side. So we go up, back, round and down. And we're going to do that eight times. Here we go. One, two. So just move as much as you fancy. Three. Four, you want to be respectful to your body, you want to be mindful of its limits. Six, seven, eight. And now we're going to go in the other direction. So we're going to go back first, then up, then forward and down. So it's back, up, forward and down. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, you wanna you wanna listen to your body. Listen to your body, very important. Okay. I'll show you this from the side or from the diagonal view. Gonna go now when we're doing it in a chair. Oh yeah, before, before I uh, talk about that, we've got four points of contact with the ground. We've got the sitting bones and we've got the feet. One, two, three, four. So um, when you're doing this movement, it's good to kind of use your, use your body movement and I'm pushing down with the feet. So we're going like this. And we're going, I'll just show you like that now you don't have to do it that big you can do it like this and that is just as good what we're doing uh, our shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint and we're just getting it to mobilize a bit and I'm going to do it in the other way I'll do it big but you can do it any size you like and I'll show it from the diagonal view I think it's a bit easier to see from the diagonal view so, it's like got a pair of braces on, a pair of dungarees on, and then just sink down. You want to sink and lengthen through the spine. So my, my spine's a bit kind of wonky fine a bit, so you, you just, but you can still lengthen through it. You can still lengthen through the spine. Sitting bones, feet, head floating up, breathing. Yeah, here we go. So we go one, we take our time, no hurry, two. Three, four, fabulous, five, six, and remember you can do teeny tiny ones if you want, there's no, you know, it's eight, no competition, seven, eight, there we go, just let them rest, feel the weight of your elbows on your shoulders, now we're going to go in the other direction, have a look first, so I'll go back, and then I'll go forward. I'll show you again. Okay, I think we can join in now. Let's join in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight great okay now this is a bit complicated but why not let's just do it uh i don't normally yeah i'm sure you'll be fine have a look first so one one thing that's important in tai chi is actually understanding your body mechanics and being and being able to turn the waist being able to feel the ground under your feet being able to calm down and take your time enough to actually see what's going on. So I'm going to show you a move, um, it's called Dragon Serves Teacups. And we'll just do it. Don't worry if you haven't got it. You can watch it on the video again and again and again. And then you can impress all your mates when we can actually have a party legally. Um, you know, by here, look what I can do. So it's called Dragon Serves Teacup. Let me just go back a bit. Observe. One, two, three, four. So I just so happen to have a cup of, uh, I think it's turmeric tea, right? Just so you can see, I'm going to have a sip of this. This is going to go horribly wrong now. Mm. So that's got some, so it goes one, two, three, four. So next time you're at a cocktail party and you're dishing out all your, uh, all tea at a tea party, this is how you would give your... This is how you would give your cup of tea to your favourite guest. One, two, three, four. 
dragon surf stick. I got away with that, didn't I? Cheers. Drag dragon surfs teacups. So we're going to do six for fun, my fun. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One down, two, two, three. So you want to four, but you want to be really relaxed. Three. Two, three, four, five, four, two. So look what I'm doing with my weight. Three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five. Aren't I horrible? Six, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do this one. So we go forwards. Push down with the feet. Imagine someone's pulling on your tail. Get nice and upright. Two. Three. Four. And five. Fabulous. So this gets your um, this gets your um, back working. Have a look from the side. So if I had more cameras, I'd have been able to press a button and there'd be another angle, but I'll have to turn the chair around. So like this, and then I'm folding here and I'm lengthening, I'm keeping my lengthening thing. And the glasses, it's like I'm a, I'm a librarian peering over my specs. You know, what are they up to? You know. Okay, right. Now, um, we're going to pick up the TV remote so we just do that and you just relax there and just that that kind of hangs come back to the middle so if you're stuck on computers all day long your Q QLs your quadratus lumborum can get a bit tight so what we're doing is we're giving a bit of TLC to our QLs four five and six Fabulous. Right, now what we're going to do is a similar thing, but we make a fist like this, uh, to show you to make a fist like that, that goes over the top. And make another fist like that, that goes over the top. So the thumb's on the outside, and you want to have a bit of space in your hands. So you want a bit of space in your hands. So what we're doing is we do like we did, and then we come up with the fist and turn it over. Going one. Oh, that is so nice. Two. So my my teach berries. We make us do handstands, and I've got a st stiff back now. Three, four, five, and six. Actually, let's do two more. Two more, because I'm, I'm enjoying this move too much, and I'm in charge. Seven, eight, fabulous. So now you have your hands on your um, you have your hands on your lap. Now feel the contact with your hands. Feel your wrists are nice and relaxed. Breathe in and out, and then what we're doing is we're going round and round in the circle. So we're combining the forwards and back with the side side. We've got a circular thing. Have a look from the side view. So I'm going like this. Using your Foot, foot, sitting bone, sitting bone, sitting bone, sitting bone, foot, foot. And we're just feeling this lower part of the back. And we're breathing. Breathe. So with the punching, you wanna you wanna be quite flexible and mobile in the waist area. So this is what we're doing. And also you want your arms really soft and relaxed. So all very, very soft and relaxed. Okay, now we're going to go in the other direction because it's good to do both sides equally if you can. Or at least practice both sides equally. Right. 
one more time. And then go to the corner. Come up, turn, go to the corner. Come up, turn, go to the corner. Okay, feet. Let's go back a bit, so I'm in shot. So bring your foot out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good posture. Other way round. One, two, three. If your feet don't want to do that, do something else. It's fine. Eight. Up, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six. I have the arms. Actually, that's better. Seven. Yeah, much less effort. Eight. And then give that, give your legs a bit of a wiggle. Give your legs a bit of a wiggle, that's it. And then, so you want to keep the knee soft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. In. Out, toe, heel. Three, four, actually I'll rest them. Oh, that's better. Six, tall through the body though. Seven, eight. And then wiggle the, the legs. Nice and tall. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've had a bit of a warm up, we're going to do some punching. I'm going to bring the camera down a bit because it doesn't go up too high and then so I can come a bit more forward so you can see what's going on a bit better. I'll come a bit more forward. Oh, now the camera's in the way. Hang on, let me just move the microphone. That's a bit better. I'll move back a little bit. So there, there you go. Um, breathing in and out. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands up in a guard, like this, and have one foot slightly forward. So most of you probably be right-handed, so you want your left foot forward. I've got my right hand forward. Actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll turn the stool to the corner view, and that's a little bit, then you can see more of my limbs. So we're going to do the jab punch. We're going to go jab, and then it comes back. And then we're going to go cross and it comes back. So you can see we're using our we're using our torso and we're using our weight shift that we were doing earlier. So the jab cross is a long, comparatively long range punch. So we're going to go jab, cross, two, jab, cross. So join in when you feel like it. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's your jab cross. Then we've got a push kick. Push kick. Push kick. One, two, we'll get the arms up. Two. Three, four, five, like you're pushing the door open, six, and keep both knees bent all the time. So even when you extend the leg, it's still a bit bent. Seven, and eight. And then we've got a whippy round kick, or a whip, whip kick, that goes like that. Now you can actually hold onto the chair, and sort of kick that way. So the idea is if I use my lampshade as a pretend opponent, because uh, I've got a punch bag, but it's really heavy. Uh, there we go. I'll just show you from this end. So the idea is, is you turn and you're kicking in the shin. See, but I use the chair. So I have one hand up, and the other hand, you can hold onto the chair and kick them. And that's a little bit longer range, punching, so with the punching you'd have to come in a bit. 
but the kick in, you turn away from. Have the hand up. Okay, so that's like a whipping kick. So there you go. Let me just move the lampshade back before I wreck it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go jab, cross, kick, kick. Now, if your legs don't do that, you can go jab, cross, hook, hook. Actually, let's do the hook punch now. I'll show you that from the, from the front. So the hook punch, you turn your body and you sink your hips and it's a, a right angle, a right angle and a right angle. So we're going to, we're going to go double hook, one, two. So that's a sort of shoulder level hook. You can also do low hooks. If you're doing a low hook, have your hand up as your guard though. Low hook, low hook and then you can go one, two. Well, actually, let's do the hook. Let's do that as a little um, fun and satisfying punching exercise. So we're going to go low hook, higher hook, low hook, higher hook. So you're using your you're using your body mechanic. You, you four points of contact with the chair. One, two, three, four. Low hook, high hook, low hook, high hook. Now the hook. I'm going to have to get the lampshade again, sorry. The hook and the uppercut are short range punches. So you've got your jab cross longer range, but, but the hook, so you're coming in like this. So in much more short range, and so is the uppercut. Unless you're using a longer range uppercut, but the uppercuts are close and the hooks are close. So let's do some hooks. So we're going to go low, high, low, high, and we'll do it eight times. Ready and begin. Low, high, low, high. That's one. Two. Use your body and have a guard up. Three, four. And breathing. Five, five. Six, nice. Seven and eight. So now what we do is we're building up our repertoire. We'll just turn the chair so I'm more diagonal again. So we're going to go jab, cross, hook, 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 push kick. And we're not going to go no faster than that. Have another look. Jab, cross, hook, low, high. Actually, yeah, low, high. Push kick, whip kick. If you don't do kicks, you could do a, instead of doing a push kick and a whip kick, you could do a long range uppercut and a slap <laughs> so if you want to if you don't want to do the kicks you go this is what you do without the kicks go jab cross hook 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 push and Slap. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Jab, cross, hook, 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 push, slap. So you, you slap like that. Like when you get in the last of the toilet rolls in the supermarket. I'm having that one. I'm having that one. Brilliant. So have another look. So this is the without the kicking. Jab, cross, hook, low hook, high hook, push them. Slap them. There we are. And for people that want to join in with the kicking, jab, 
cross, hook, low hook, high hook, push kick, whip kick, but don't fall out of your chair. No. So keep your balance and we're doing that. And remember we're aiming for the shin. Bang. That will teach you, won't it? Okay, let's do that five times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So I, I hold the chair to give me a bit of counterbalance when I kick with my when I do the whip kick. Right, number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and then five, and then we'll do it with the slaps, otherwise I'll forget. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, next version. One, two, three, four, five, push, slap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll do it once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's have a look at hammer fists. And then we'll do something more relaxed. Uh, hammer fists are really useful. So it's like you've got a, so you've got a diagonal one. Let's just do them singly. So it come, if you look at my stick, I'll show you with the Kali sticks. So you're coming across the diagonal like that. So that is the, that's the angle. That's the angle of your hammer fists. So you've got that angle, and then you've also got that angle. So you've got that angle, and that angle. So we start here, we go one. So that's the first angle. Two. Oh, you, you turn your, have a look from the side. You turn your body. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the other hand up. Eight, nine, ten. Fabulous. Okay, now. We're going to go like this, one, two, three, yeah, so it's that way, that way, so that's like a forehand, we're doing a backhand, back, okay, we're going to do ten, ready, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and we can combine them. So watch. One, two, yeah. So we'll do, uh, we'll do five this side. We'll do five that side, and we'll do the double, double hit. So if I show you with a stick, we're kind of doing this kind of thing. So we go one. Two, and I'm turning my waist. Three, I'm using my feet. Four, sleepy tiger eyes. Five, fabulous. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. And then what you do is you can go one, two, three. One, two, Three. So you go side, side, over the top. Show you from the side. Side, side, over the top. One, two, three. So if you ever wanted to play 
a paper, scissors, stone in a really cool way, you could do that as your entry and then do your paper, scissors and stone. I like, I, that's one of my favourite games actually, paper, scissors, stone. Uh, next to poo sticks, I like that as well. Um, obviously I like sticks. So we go one, two, three. Yeah, two. We'll do ten. Three. Four. So I'm putting the arm down for now when I've finished with it, just to kind of save confusion. Five. Six. Seven. Two. Three. Hammer fists. Eight. Whack. Whack. Very satisfying. Someone's holding the pad up for you. It's wonderful. Nine. Ten. Oof. Nice. Okay, let's do nice things now. We've been working quite hard, so let, let's do some nice things. So, nice and tall. Let's go back to this one. Okay, shake out. Check the posture. Just do this, so just breathe in, raise the hands up, breathe out and come back down. So this is, uh, so we'll do four, first four movements of the shibashi set. Nice and relaxed. So that's the first move. The next move, just watch first. We come up, we open the chest, come forwards. We come back and then we come down. I'll show you that from the diagonal view. So we go one, two, three, four. Okay, off we go. One, The next one, you can wave the rainbow. So you rave, raise your hands up, you put your, shift your weight slightly. This is above and this is up. And we're just going to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six down and then that same forward and back movement you cross the hands push down with the feet someone pulls your tailbone and then you part the clouds so one two three four And six. And then we'll just do a very gentle version of swiping the last toilet bowl. I don't know its real name, sorry. It does have a proper Chinese name, but because of the whole COVID thing. <laughs> sorry. There we are. Do that one. Okay, and then just. Raise the palms up, turn them down. And then we'll do open close. So just open, 
but refusals. So after you've been doing punchy and kicky stuff, it's nice to do something really light and soft and relaxed. One more time, lovely. Lovely. Okay, let's go back to this one just to make sure our back's all nice and happy. Two, three, four, five. Other direction. One, two, three. Four and five. Relax the shoulders. Just feel the arms hanging. Check your posture. This one's called Embrace the Tiger. Return to the Mountain. So you come up like that, come slightly forwards, and then come back into the sitting bones. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to have really young faces. So I like this one from Master Chung. And what you do is you rub your hands together. And polish the face. And then rub your hands together. And then this time I'll turn around. Rub your back. Oh, oh, that is so nice. It's the best bit. Oh, lovely. So, yeah. And just sit and breathe for a bit. So, really own your space. Relax around the jaw. And then embrace the tiger, return to the mountain two more times before we close the session. Make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and back. Great.